Yo, what is up guys? My name is Red Cloud. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the best AMD graphics card settings for all AMD cards, including RX, the newer cards, and probably most likely the newer future cards, the 6 series AMD cards that are going to come out. Anyways guys, like I said, my name is Red Cloud. I'm live every day at twitch.tv slash redcloud. If you guys have any comments or questions that you'd like to ask me, go ahead and go over there. I usually play World of Warcraft or League of Legends, so if you guys want to play with me as well, I'm definitely down to chill. Anyways, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the YouTube channel if this video helped you guys out, as well as any other guides that you guys would like. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is download the AMD graphics card drivers. So I have a link in the description below that has auto updating drivers in there for AMD Radeon driver software. All you have to do is go down there, click it, and install it. It'll auto-detect the graphics card that you have. And then once you've installed it, you can install the most basic version of it or an optional version of it. Once you've installed it, you'll have to restart your PC, and then you'll come back to this video, and you'll click, um, right-click your desktop and go to AMD Radeon Software. Just click that, and then this should pop up right here. So for me, I'm using an RX 560 with an i5-8400, and uh, this isn't actually accurate. I definitely get a lot more FPS in this, so I don't think this is super accurate as far as like average FPS goes. So this is the card that I will be using, and we'll go over the best settings for this card, as well as any other cards, RX 570, 580, as well as the newer cards that are out, the 5700X and the other 5800X and all that stuff, like those cards as well. So what we'll do is we'll go to the gaming tab, then we'll go to global graphics. All right, guys, so once we're here, we'll have the option to either choose gaming, esports, or power saving. What you'll want to do is pick the esports tab, and then this will bring us down to some settings that we're going to customize right now. So I always leave anti-lag on and allow that to just be on it does help with input lag and sometimes with stutters and crashing so definitely keep this on uh keep these two disabled chill and boost you definitely don't want those on and image sharpening as well as the sharpness i put this on and i leave it at 80 percent, not at 100 percent, because the game still looks really good at 80 percent. um you can mess with this if you'd like to but i personally use these settings and then what i do is for the vertical refresh i always keep this off there's a setting to oh it's off unless application specifies i always keep it off so it doesn't matter if the for some reason my game settings reset and it puts on vertical sync this will never allow the game to sync to your monitor which is really good um so what we'll do after that is we'll go down and go to advanced and then for anti-aliasing we will allow this to be using the application settings so you'll have to manually change your anti-aliasing on the game that you're playing anti-aliasing will keep that on multi-sampling uh, we're going to leave uh, morphological anti-aliasing disabled and is tropic filtering disabled why are these words created bro like seriously anyway texture filtering we're gonna this is usually on high standard you want this on performance this will help out a lot with uh, your optimization of your games. And for this, we are going to leave override application settings on, but we're maximum tessellation level. We're going to turn that off so we don't have tessellation going on when we're playing games. OpenGL, 10-bit pixel, GPU workload are all on the default. And then for the reset shader cache, what you'll do is if you've had your card for a long time, you'll hit the reset button here and you'll press OK. Bam, and that'll reset the cache on your graphics card. Um, this is a really cool feature that not a lot of cards have, which is pretty dope. Um, anyway, so once we've done that, literally everything else you can basically leave as is, except for the, um, like I said, the free sync option. If you have free sync or vsync at all on your systems, I feel like there's a lot of input lag that um, gets created from it i feel like free sync uh it does work relatively relatively well but if you are able to get high fps while also achieving your maximum fps on your monitor that it can support there's no reason to use free sync um so if you have like a 90 hertz or 120 hertz monitor i could see why you use this but for me i have an 144 hertz monitor and i can hit 144 hertz no problem when i'm playing games so i keep this everything else on uh, default 
the same thing with video keep it on default if you want to change you know a little bit of how your you know your colors work and stuff like that you can hotkeys accounts devices all unimportant not even important at all general this is where you can change your game streaming settings and media recording and stuff like that because you can record with the software if you guys would like the best settings for amd recording software and also the um you know streaming software and the best settings for this let's get this video to 20 likes and if it gets to 20 likes and somebody comments it i'll do a video on it okay so yeah that is about it as far as the gaming tab goes we're done with that and then what we'll do is over to the performance tab we'll get on over here to the metrics and you can see that my uh, my radeon rx 560 is doing relatively well as well as its power consumption its clock speed and stuff like that the other thing that you can do here is you can go to tuning and this is completely completely subjective you do not need to do this if you have no idea what this is or what overclocking does i definitely don't suggest doing it but if you do know the risks of doing it you can definitely hit automatic and it'll auto overclock your gpu so i'm going to do it on stream or on via recording but you'll notice that like my graphics card it's at 1260 right now it's clock speed and it stays at 1260 because I've already auto overclocked it. But that basically means that it's boosting its clock speed, which basically means you're getting basically free performance. And it's only using 20 watts at most. So literally like overclocking is super easy on AMD. I, in my opinion, it's relatively safe. But if your card explodes or your computer explodes or something, that's not on me. That's obviously on you because you're clicking through this stuff and you're doing it on your own. And I'm definitely not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you that it, you will get performance gains of it. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope this video helped you guys out with your AMD graphics card settings, especially you guys who have lower end AMD graphics card settings. They definitely don't come optimized, and these settings will help you out, I hope, in a tremendous way. Um, definitely, guys, hit me up if you guys need anything in the comment section below. I respond and read every single comment. And definitely be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like I said, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. That's super awesome. And I'm really excited to be partnered here on YouTube as well as over on Twitch. So check it out over there on Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. I definitely would appreciate it. Live every day. Super active in Discord, by the way. Check the links in the description as well as follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace. <laughs>